let's look at the force produced at the paddle face. Let's look at what that means, how the force is produced, and how we can take this information and make it more meaningful to our paddling. Now we know that club male paddlers will produce 14 kilos of average force and that skilled male paddlers will produce 16 kilos of average force through the paddle stroke. Now what does this mean? 14 to 16 kilos of force. Well when you consider that firstly force is equal to mass times acceleration it must mean that we are moving a mass of water, we are accelerating a mass of water. How much water? Well, if one kilo of water is about one liter of water, then 14 to 16 kilos of water is in fact about 14 to 16 liters of water and this bucket can hold 20 liters of water. So it's almost a full bucket of water, but that's on average. Now, how does a paddle produce that force? I mean, how does this paddle move that bucket of water? So now we have a better understanding of how the paddle face produces force. We understand that in order to produce 14 to 16 kilos of force, we must be catching about 14 to 16 liters of water and accelerating it with the paddle face. Uh, and to make it more real, we're catching about a bucket's worth of water behind the paddle face and accelerating it.